Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Phil and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change your radar in Counter-Strike Global Offensive from this easy and dumb radar to this professional and killer radar. Have fun watching the video now, let's go! I will show you how to get a really cool radar, a really better radar, for have a better gameplay, for have better game experience. In this tutorial I show you some cool comments and some cool tips and tricks. So first of all you can find all the comments in the options. Just press escape, go to help and options and go to game settings. So you can find here some in the hard options you can find some cool comments for improve your radar settings. And of course down below you have the radar options like the rotation of the radar or the zoom into the radar but I will show you the comments for the console make sure to open your console by clicking to help on options keyboard and mouse and scroll down to toggle console and choose your key you want to click to open the console so first of all you can see on your laptop I am using default radar settings right now it's not giving you a lot of informations you can see where the bomb is for example here you see there's the bomb in this way but you can see where exactly to find the bomb so of course for example if you see the enemies right here you don't know where the enemies are just see on the radar there's a red point but you don't know how to find the enemies where the exactly positions is right now so first of all open the console and type in the comment CL radar scale 1 it changed the size of the map in the radar if you say 1 it's really close if you type in a lower value for example uh, 0.5 you can see more of the whole map for example you can see the bomb is here on long right in the top here on a long the second comment is CL radar always centered 1 so if you type it to 1 that means yourself your position is always in the middle of the radar so as you can see here you are in the middle of the radar the problem here is you can see there are a lot of informations you don't need for example the black, the black wall the black area here if you type it to zero that means the map is always centered so you can see you are on the right side of the radar not in the middle anymore and of course you can have more information here in my opinion both settings are very good you have to choose for yourself what you want I have it on one because for me it's important what is in my area right now the third comment is CL HUD radar scale 1 and this will change the size of the whole HUD here in the overlay so default setting is on 1 and if you change it on 2 you have a much bigger radar and in my opinion that's very important I think nothing is more Impo more important than the radar in game it gives you all the informations about the game especially if you have teammates who don't give some informations so in my opinion you can go for two or anything it's absolutely okay don't make it too small like 0 0.5 that's not good you have you can't you can't read informations that good as you have it on two on the value two the fourth comment is the radar I can scale mine so this means it will change the scale of the icons in the radar like the bomb or like enemies like your teammates like yourself if i go for seal radar i can scale mine too it will grow up the size of the icons in the radar if the icons are too big you have the problem you can see how many enemies are staying here right now you see just some red points and that's very hard so in my opinion don't make it too big but don't make it too small make it like 1 1.15 or something else I prefer to make it bigger like uh, 1.5 or something else like that the fifth comment is see a radar rotate one that means if you turn yourself the radar will always turn in the direction you watch okay so if I make it on the value of zero the radar is always in the same direction it doesn't matter in which direction you are watching the radar is always in the same direction in, in my opinion that's just a personal preference what you can choose here in my opinion it's better to take one because I ever played with one and, and it feels better to play with one the last comment is CL radar square with scoreboard one that just means 
um, if you are deaf your radar will stop being a cycle and will be square then if you are deaf of course then you have a much better view on the radar make sure to put it on one it's very important for you the last one I want to show you is to change the radar skin and to get a really really cool radar skin in the overlay and I will show you now how to change the radar skin. So for example you go to simpleradar.com and you can download here much better radars for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It's very easy you see, you see here some previews of some radar maps and it's very easy you can just click uh, scroll down and click on download here especially here on full pack download. Of course, there are not all maps included. For example, here is Dust 2, Inferno, Cache, Mirage, or Overpass. So just go in your library of your games, click on Console Global Offensive, right click Properties, go to your local files, and then click on Pros Local Files. Go in CSGO, go to Resource, and then go to Overviews, and you can see all overviews here. Make sure to create a new folder and rename it to Overviews Original or something else like that. And then you can just copy them all and put it into your new folder just to have a backup if there's any problems. And then you can open the simple Raider file and, and put all your new files into this folder. After that all, you have to restart your game. And just in the preview here right now, you can see the new map the new skin with callouts on the map like spawn, long, city ramp or something else like that. You have all callouts here in the preview and in game of course you have another radar too. Choose your team and on the top left you can see the new radar and it's pretty accurate. Yeah, I think that's a really cool improved radar for in game settings. I think your gameplay will be better very fast. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and write a comment down below in the comments. And you can find some cool other videos right down below in the description. Make sure to give me a like, to like this video, I know, blah blah blah. So, my name is Phil, see you in the next video, bye bye.